Okay, we have something really interesting to share with you today because we're actually talking about a muscle that we don't talk about often or not really anybody talks about, but it's extremely important for proper head and neck alignment and it's the tongue. We don't just use the tongue to talk, to enjoy food, etc. It's actually also used to help support the weight of the head and the neck. So if we don't actually use this tongue to our advantage, then issues with the head and the neck can occur, especially because we're in front of technology all the time at weekends and then we collapse. So Deanna's gonna take it away and really explain how she came to develop using this muscle. And we're gonna bring through some strengthening exercises for the tongue, which will look funny, but highly effective. Yeah, so um, as a therapist for years, I was bent over a massage table working on people and I always had chronic neck pain. So I was, quite a ways into my understanding of fascia work and the development of this technique, but I hadn't yet really conquered this neck pain for myself. And it was when I was at the lake one year and I was doing some yoga on the deck and I was in a forward bend and my very typical neck pain surfaced. And for some reason, I activated my tongue. I put it in a different position and immediately the neck pain went away. So this obviously <laughs> caught my attention. So then this became my new play tool, <laughs> moving around, positioning that tongue and seeing what would happen. And sure enough, the more I worked with it, the stronger it became. And then I really realigned my neck properly and my neck pain has gone away. Now this whole understanding is part of our block therapy system is one of the foundational components. So the very first thing I want you to do is first notice where your tongue is positioned in your mouth. For me, when I'm not thinking about it, my tongue is positioned too far forward and to the right. It's, it pushes up against the teeth and it goes off to one side. Now, what I'd like you to do is notice at the roof of your mouth, there's a ridge. This ridge is about a pinky nail distance from your teeth. Now, pull your tongue back and put the surface of the tongue up to the roof of the mouth and notice how it perfectly docks in that ridge. Do mm -hmm. you see that? Mm -hmm. totally. Yeah, this is where the tongue should be at rest if we are in proper alignment. So this is really telling us how completely out of alignment we are. And part of it is because of the way we collapse into the rib cage. So everything gets pulled forward. So with block therapy, we address the full system. You mm. can't just work on the tongue because you'll get nowhere fast because of the way the fascia works in general. But as we're focusing on this one muscle today, let's pull the tongue back into the position and just become aware of where it is. Now, what I'm gonna have Quinn do is stick his tongue in and out. And I want you to notice, actually face forward first, because I just want you to notice when he does that, you'll see this muscle here. You'll see the movement in the neck. And people often feel like they have a double chin when in fact they have a displaced and weak tongue. Mm -hmm. that's, what cause, that's what causes this thickness in through here. And our thyroid gland is right here. And our carotid arteries, the main artery spline, the brain, the eyes, the face, the hair, all of that. They're right here. So when this muscle isn't aligned, it's blocking blood and oxygen flow up into the head. So now you can turn and face me. And we're just gonna do a couple of really, really simple exercises so that you can feel, first of all, how weak the tongue is. So the first- This is, this is gonna look a little funny. So yeah. you, might, you might, might wanna be like alone or <laughs> not showcasing this in front of people. And I give you full um, ability to laugh at Quinn right now because- You guys can laugh as much. I wanna see the funniest comment below. <laughs> So all I'm going to have Quinn do Keep is them PG, please. <laughs> stick his tongue out. Stop talking. <laughs> stick the tongue out. If I activated out. my tongue, I would stop talking. That's right. That's right. And okay. just to note too, when your tongue is in proper alignment, you can't breathe through your mouth. And with block therapy, we always talk about the nose breath in and out through the nose. So with the tongue in proper alignment, that limits you from being able to breathe through the mouth. The only time we should be breathing through the mouth is when we are talking, in fact. So now, Quinn, if you can just stick your tongue straight up. If you can all do this, let's take five full, slow breaths here and just notice how this feels. The tongue is a muscle. And I remember when I was a teenager or even younger hearing that this was the strongest muscle in the body, which I really found strange because it's not like you can lift a table up with your tongue. But now I really understand the complex variety of different actions that this muscle is supposed to provide for us talking, chewing, and to support the weight of the head in proper alignment. Mm -hmm. So did you notice when you were doing that, was there any fatigue or anything happening? Yeah, well, every time I do it, there's, there's gonna be some sort of fatigue. If I'm practicing this more often, of course, it's gonna strengthen like any muscle, so it, it, I can hold it for a longer duration. But 
Um, we even talk about exploring with the tongue left to right. So we're talking about just strengthening right now, but with block therapy, we release the connective tissue, the fascia first, and then we strengthen it in proper alignment. But even if you don't have a block, this is just a great tool and action that you can start incorporating now because you're going to start training the tongue in correct alignment. And we need to use that to our advantage. Again, we're like this all the time. Now the tongues and the head and the neck and everything's just weakening and almost I'm going to use the word atrophy and that's not the correct word, but we're just like, we're not engaging it anymore. So let's bring everything back and let's engage that tongue muscle. So you can do that standing, seated, laying on your back. You can I love do this doing it driving. I was just going to say driving. You can stick your tongue out at people. I find it pretty funny. Um. <laughs> let's, let's do a little bit of an advanced version of that now. And let's lift your head up toward the ceiling and then shoot the tongue straight up and see if you can hold that for five breaths and notice where you start to fatigue. Another thing I always love to tell people is when you're chewing, most people, just like we're dominant on one side with the arms and the legs, most people are dominant on one side with how they chew. We really want to make this tongue muscle balanced and symmetrical. So start becoming aware of how you're chewing and chew on that other side as well and bring balance into this muscle. How are you feeling there? Good, there's, you can feel there's so much tension in the front of the neck. Because just looking up, you can feel that length and that tension. But now we're activating the muscles. So we're really bringing a lot of length back into the neck that we've lost from doing this all day. And I think we're all guilty of it now. We have to be on, on technology, our phones, on our computers, whatever we're doing. So um, those are massively important. But also remember, from the, from the previous two videos, we talked about diaphragmatic breathing and bracing the core while breathing diaphragmatically incorporate all these actions into every other action that we're going to be showing uh, the we're, we're connected through fascia which is a full body connective tissue that we need to understand and strengthen in in a purposeful alignment so this is just another action that you guys can add to your toolbox um, again extremely beneficial and you're going to notice some really great changes i personally notice this helps shape my jaw a lot better too especially if i'm spending a lot of time in a forward direction it's going to bring everything back and clean it all up so hope you enjoyed that tip again i want to see some funny comments below and that's everything make sure you like subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye everyone <laughs>